Uh, it, you know, there's no question that uh, this game and just all preseason, I mean, there are a lot of guys that have made it really hard, and that's a great thing. I mean, uh, we're talking to a couple people, you know, even you know, just after the game here, and, you know, we're, we're going to have them go back to, to uh, you know, Milwaukee report, and we'll have a complete list for you, but um, it's really hard. They, they know that you could, you could honestly say if someone slipped, uh, there's a business side, what have you, and, um, that we've got a lot of guys that can play for us right now, and a lot of guys that, uh, uh, if anybody backs off in terms of their, their effort or their, their play, we got lots of people that can jump in there and do a real good job. So um, it, it's exciting. It's exciting for us because we got uh, not only do we have young defensemen coming, but we've got uh, some young forwards that are coming, and then uh, we've also got some, uh, a couple of goaltenders that are coming. So. You know, if you look at the the pipeline, is is really good right now. How about Craig Smith in that last play? Oh, uh, that was that's exactly what, what you know you want from a player. We always talk about stay on the puck and 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 make it really hard. And, and that last play was just uh, indicative. Of it. He was he created a turnover. Colin got in there and created a turnover. Uh, he stayed on the puck. He got a second effort. He stole the puck from the guy. You know, bounced around. He threw it at the net. Went in. I mean, that's. That's hard to play against, and uh, it was a great effort. And I know Smitty's played really well in the preseason. We played him at center, we played him on the wing, and I know he wanted a, a wanted a goal, get us you know score a goal. I think he he felt that that would really ease uh, his burden on his mind. I think, and so it, you know I was really happy for him. Is he one of the ones going down, or Pardon? is he one of the ones going back, or no? I don't know. No, he's not. <laughs> he sure isn't afraid to shoot. No, and that's one of the things that we, we want to, with the Predators. Sometimes we get a little too cute. We want us, we want to shoot more. We know we want Craig Smith to shoot. We want Sergey Kostichin to shoot more. We want you know Marty Rat to shoot more. I want David Lebon to shoot more. I mean that's part of the, our mantra at training. You know, the first day of training camp, we said that's something we want to do a lot more. Um, but you got to have the puck and, and you got to go get it back and. The way the game's played now, it's is, is you got to work. You got to work both sides of the puck, and uh, you know if you, if you work hard to get it back, then you can hang on to it too. And, and uh, if the if the other team's not willing to work as hard to, to get it back, you're going to get some offensive opportunities. With the preseason slate being over now and training camp for the most part being over, did, did have you liked what you've seen so far? Do you feel like this team is ready to go the the regular season now? Well, I think I think we're. We're, we're fairly prepared uh, for the most part. Could we do better? Yeah, you know, we're still, you know, if you look at our lines, they haven't been, there is no, um, we're, we're sort of playing predator hockey. Everybody fits all over the place, and we don't have a whole lot of things set. And, you know, halfway through the, the game, I'll move people around and, and that. So you yeah, haven't seen like a, you know, a true combination of this line's going to be the line, or this line's going to be the line. So. Um, you know, it'll be hard to match up against us in a lot of ways, uh, um, you know, with, with the guys that we have. So we've got, I think from, a, from more than anything, we've just got to decide which, which are 12 best guys and put them in a position and, and let them go and go from there. What's it say sort of about the players' understanding of your system that no Suter and Weber, everybody on D sort of playing up one, you still only give up 21 shots and their one goal wasn't even a scoring chance. Yeah, well, you know, um, the whole team concept is is not just you know the D. It's 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 everybody in the ice. It's, it's from the goalie out. It's uh, you know all six people on the ice at the same time. And um, we've had a good uh, training camp. And our, and you talk about guys grasping the, the team concept. They they've done that. Um, we we still have some improvement in that. But uh, our strength is is our numbers. I mean, uh, you know. We're sort of a little bit of a pack of wolves. I mean, that's how we we operate. Is that we're going to swarm you, we're going to come at you, and we're going to we're going to play predator hockey. And you know, we don't we don't care a whole lot what you do. We just got to play a certain way. And if we do, we're hard to hard to play play against. And um, you know, so as I said to the guys, I want to be hard to play against and even harder to beat. And uh, that's how we're going to have to be. I mean, the Western Conference is so tough. Everybody's gotten better. In, in you know in terms of you know adding some pieces and personnel, we've gotten better. We've just done it in a more quiet way than some other teams. And uh, you know I think Craig Smith can be a guy that might be able to help us. Uh, you look at the young defensemen; they're going to be able to help us as they mature. 
and uh, you know our goaltending is. I don't think we've ever had full time like we we've, we've had you know with with Pex and and Lindy and and um, you know so we're 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 ready for the long haul. It's not going to be easy, and you know hopefully add Mike Fisher to the to the fold and maybe Frankie Bullion to the fold and be in pretty good shape. We're pretty deep. Which young defenseman are you keeping? Which one? Which one or ones? Yes. Ones. Well, we'll we'll give you a a, a complete list where. We've had a change of, of plans on a couple of guys, so we're, the, the, we're a little bit undecided. Have you decided on the number of defensemen you're going to carry? You don't play a lot of games at the beginning of the season. So. Yeah, no, that's that's sort of part of the problem right now for us is that we, we want to make sure that we, we get our numbers to where we want and then uh, and go from there. Um, so that's, that's where we're at right now. Was that one of the youngest defense cores that you've, that you've had in a game? That tonight, mm -hmm. yeah, it would be pretty. It'd be right up there uh, with one of the younger ones. I mean, we're the second youngest team in the league right now, I believe, or third youngest. So, you know, um, that was pretty young. That yeah, was a couple, a lot of early twenties. You know, a lot of acne out there. <laughs> Coach, you mentioned that you'll be giving the media a list. Is that the? Will that be the final list? No, no. We're gonna. Uh, I'll be quite honest. We're we're uh, we're gonna assign some guys tonight, and then uh, we're gonna. We're the, Probably do something on Monday, you know. Uh, it's probably Monday morning, so we will have a complete list then, and that will be what we'll start at that point. Monday will probably give you a good indication where we're going to start. Doesn't mean it's final. It's just a decision for today, and then we'll go forward. The play that Smith made in overtime. Yeah. How much of a difference-making play is that for him for a roster spot? Uh, I don't know if it was a difference making play. It, it what it was, it, it probably summed up his ability and and the way he plays. It, it, that, that that goal summed it up how how he played in the the rookie camp, um, how he's played in certain stretches uh, during main camp, and uh, you know we've he seems to have a, a a lot more ability to do things at center ice uh, than the wing. So I think he's gonna. I think we're probably gonna start him at center ice. Uh, we're gonna talk as a as a staff. He's done a good job at center ice, and that uh, uh, gives him some freedom, and he's able to use that dynamic speed. And um, I think he's good. He's a good young player. If it's, if he starts at center ice, does that create a log jam at center if Fisher comes back, or when Fisher comes back? Puts a lot of pressure on a lot of guys. <laughs> But you know what? In today's uh, game, being able to play, you know, both you know, two positions. I mean, you look at guys like uh, you know Smitty and Spalls, and they can play two positions. That is huge. You know, you get two drawmen. A lot of times, you know, if you, you when they play Spalling and Smithson together, I mean, you're playing against top lines. You got lefty, righty. You don't have to change a line or worry about you know what side the draws on. They're both pretty good draw guys. So that's sort of. A big advantage of the way we play is that we try to have you know a little bit of duplicates at center ice and you know one of the things that when you go around other teams go you know they don't some teams don't get it they go you know you get injuries and you put another guy in another place and they just sort of fit it, you know it, it just you know, seems to be seamless and other teams try to do it and it's not as seamless um, that's probably because we move them around so much that. You know they understand. You know center ice. They understand the wing. They understand the uh, uh, the whole concept. I guess uh, a lot better. So um, you know we'll we'll put our, our twelve players together that we feel that we'll start opening night with and um, and, and hope it works. If what, not, we'll adjust it. What is what has Jack Hill has done to impress you so far? And just consistency, uh, poise. I mean he's got great skating ability. You know he's not he's not a big physical guy or anything like that. He's a, he's really a transporter. He can get back there, get pucks out, make good decisions. Um, defending wise, he he just stays in front of you. That's probably the best way to say how he defends is that you know because he skates so well, you're not going to go around him. You try to go through him, and he just he's just in the way, and um, and it's effective for him. And, uh, you know, he's he's been pretty good that way. Um, I go through all the guys. Laxo has been, you know, more of a, a heavy defenseman. He plays a little more of a simple game, but it is a little more physical around the crease. Uh, Ellis was really good. That, that was by far his best game today by Country Mile. He was really good. To, I thought all all game. 
he's starting to, you know, one thing about Ryan Ellis is that he's a, he's a really intelligent player. And, you know, stuff that he was trying early in camp, it, it, it was junior, it was junior stuff. And it, and it works in junior, it doesn't work here. And he's adjusting his game slowly. So uh, you saw it today, he made some, some, I thought, pretty good adjustments. And, you know, you can see what he can do on the power play, which would, would help. And same with Ekholm. Ekholm's over, uh, you know, from Sweden, and, and I mean, his, his adjustment is a North American game, a pressure game that that's on you, and, and he's adjusting well. So, um, you know, we didn't get a chance to see Roman Yossi, uh, who, you know, I know Lane Lambert, and, and we were raving about. We thought he probably might be ahead of the whole pack. We didn't get to see him uh, during training camp, but he'll, you know, he'll get another look if he's playing really well in Milwaukee. Um, you know, and Sloan is a is a veteran defenseman, uh, very more of a stay at home guy. So, uh, and and he will be assigned a clear waiver, so he'll be going to Milwaukee. That's one one guy will be doing that. So, uh, that's for Rack. Is there a place for a, a Zach Sortini on the final roster? Well, yeah, you know there is. You know, there's a, there's an element like today, uh, the way the the Carolina plays. You know, they they don't. They don't play that style where they've got some some guys you know like last night was a good example of you know Tanner Glass uh, was running into suits a couple of times you know, a little a little extra effort on on his part and Zach went out there and, and sort of just tamed them down a little bit so you know there is there is and that's an element that it doesn't get enough recognition and you know today Zach didn't play a whole lot I, I, he was the uh, every time I called Jeffrey on his line, there was a four straight penalties, I think, in the first period. And every time I called their line, so it limited their ice time a little bit. But uh, Zach is a is a is a guy that will will uh, is very detailed. It doesn't hurt you on the ice, and and just you know gets in people's faces, and that's what he does. Was Jeffrey uh, on on that being on that line was that in, indicative of where he's going to end up at all, or? I don't know if it's indicative. I, I think he's in the mix. I mean, I, I, Boomer is going to be in the mix with you know a guy like Cal O'Reilly and Smith, uh, you know uh, Smith and you know do we start the season with Spalding in the middle and uh, wait for Mike Fisher to catch up? Uh, you know Leggy's in the middle. I mean we we got to sort of sort that out. You know Boomer can move to the wall if we need him on the left wing. Um, you know Boomer's a guy that also can play in front of the net on the power play. That's what I, you saw him do. He's a let you know one of the things that we. We, we lack if uh, you know is a net presence sometimes when, when when Patrick's not not the net presence guy on the other lines. Uh, Boomer could provide that. He also gives us a left-handed draw um, if we needed that uh, for the power play or something like that. So there's a number of different things that we're just looking for the right mix and the right combination that will help us win. And uh, I, I can guarantee you, there's probably 27 guys that are you know. Actually, all the guys I thought that went to Winnipeg, and then a couple guys that stayed here that were injured and didn't make the trip. All those guys will be a big part of us having success success this year, just because of the, it's the way the league is right now. It's going to be it's going to be really hard, and the depth is going to really. If you don't have the depth, you're you're not going to make the playoffs. There's, I think it's going to be impossible. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.